In this section, we will learn how to use attribute selector. The attribute selectors are used to select HTML elements by their attributes and they can be used in different ways. In this section, we will cover all of these ways. First, remove the codes of the previous section. and save it inside our CSS folder as CSS attribute selector.html. Now create a paragraph element and write first paragraph. Copy this element and paste it here. Change the text to second paragraph. Copy this paragraph and paste it here. Write, this is bold and italic paragraph. Then use B and I element to make the text bold and italic. Create another paragraph element. Write, it has underlined and bold text. Then use U and B element to make the text underlined and bold. Create another paragraph element. Write, it has deleted and bold text. Then use Del and B element to strike through the text and make it bold. Then create another paragraph with the same strike through effect and bold effect. We need another paragraph. It says this paragraph has a small text. Use a small element to make the font smaller. Now, create another paragraph element and this is the last one. Save the code and load the web page. Close the previous tab if there is any. Here we can see the paragraphs we have created few moments ago. Now we are going to add titles to these paragraphs. Title of the first paragraph is first para. Title of the second paragraph is second para. Title of third paragraph is bold and italic. Title of fourth paragraph is underlined and italic. The title of this paragraph is bold dash deleted. Title of this paragraph is deleted bold. Title of this paragraph is text small. And title of this paragraph is last text. Now save the code and reload the web page. If we hover the mouse pointer on these paragraphs, the corresponding titles will show up. Now we are ready to start applying attribute selectors. Let's start with the name of the attribute. In our example, we have used only one attribute, that is title. The attribute name selector starts with square brackets. Inside, we write the name of the attribute. Then we assign style inside a set of curly brackets 
as property value pair. Let's set background property to light blue. Save the code and reload the web page. All the paragraphs, those have title attribute, have the light blue background now. Let's remove the title attribute from second paragraph and see what happens. Save it and reload the web page. The background color is gone. It is because we are applying the background color to elements having title attribute. This paragraph does not have title attribute. Let's apply this background color to paragraph with small text only. For that, we have to use attribute value selector. The value of the title attribute of this paragraph is text small. We have to write the value in between two double quote marks after the equal sign. Save the code and reload the web page. Now, this paragraph has the background color only. Say that we want to apply background color to elements have the bold in the value of attribute. Then we have to use tilde symbol. This time, there will be no double code around the target word. Save the code and reload the web page. Now, this paragraph has background color. It is because the word bold is present here. Notice that the word bold is here as well. However, there is a dash after it. When we use this tilde symbol before equal symbol, it selects the target word if only the complete word is present. If it is a part of the word, like here and here, this selector will not select it. In order to select this bold, which is actually a part of the word, we have to use vertical bar before the equal symbol. Save the code and reload the web page to see what happens. This paragraph has been selected. Here, there is another attribute value where bold is a part. However, that wasn't selected. It is because this selector selects the attribute value that starts with the target word. Here the bold is at the end. That is why it wasn't selected. And here the bold is a separate word, not a part of the word. That is why it wasn't selected either. This word has started with bold. That is why only this one was selected. Now, if we want to select the element that ends with bold, then we have to use a dollar symbol here. Save the code and reload the web page. This time, only this paragraph was selected because the bold is present at the end of this word. What if we want to select all of the elements? where the attribute has the value bold. We need to use star before the equal. Save the code and reload the web page. Now, elements with attribute values, those contain bold have been selected. Sometimes you may want to select elements having a particular string. For example, write ext here. Save the code and, and reload the web page. The last two paragraphs have been selected. It is because both of the attribute values here have ext in them. This is how we can select any HTML element by attribute selector. That's all for this section. I hope you are enjoying this course and I'll see you in the next section.